Millions of people in Africa depend on cassava. It is one of the main sources of food and income. Its drought resistance makes it also a very reliable food crop. But two viral diseases are causing a drop in the cassava production. Cassava mosaic disease and cassava brown streak disease are raging through the African fields. Almost 90% of all the plants on the continent are affected by one of these diseases. Both of these viruses are transmitted by white flies. Uh, white flies are tiny insects that uh, feed on the sap of cassava leaves. Um, and when they, they move from an infected plant to a healthy plant, a little bit like malaria being spread from, a healthy to, uh, from an infected to a healthy person, they carry the parasite with them and infect the healthy plant. Cassava mosaic disease hampers the growth of the plant, resulting in low yields. Brown streak disease is even worse, since it makes the roots rot and farmers can lose their entire harvest. In recent years, increased spread of both diseases has been reported. A regional approach is necessary to tackle the problem. With funding from the European Union, the Regional Cassava Initiative was rolled out in seven countries. Coordinated by FAO, the four-year project strengthened the resilience of cassava-producing communities. One of the initiative pillars is research. Disease-resistant or tolerant varieties of cassava were grown and made widely available to farmers. Avec les différents projets régionaux, y compris celui-ci, euh, on a permis aux populations d'avoir accès aux matériels sains de plantation, aux différentes variétés qui sont productives. Et on peut le voir même au niveau des prix. En ce moment, le prix du, de la farine de manioc était tellement élevé. Nous parlons des années 2005, 2006, 2006, sur la mosaïque était très élevé. Maintenant, les prix sont relativement contrôlés. Je suis très heureux de vous dire que vous avez vu les années. National cassava commissions were set up to help government ministries work together with other stakeholders to control disease spread. Small-scale farmers learned how to recognize the diseases and how to deal with them. But the regional cassava initiative didn't come without challenges, as a new brown streak disease epidemic occurred halfway through the project. What happens is, uh, as you avail some materials that are resistant or tolerant to cassava mosaic virus, they, they tend to be susceptible to the brown streak disease. While progress has been made, more effort is still needed to sustain one of the main gateways to food security in Africa, cassava.